Hey everybody, what's up? This is ShadowHB3 here. I'm back and finally ready to entertain. Welcome to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Um, first off, I just wanted to say it's great to be back. And then second, I just wanted to see if every one of you uh, enjoy the short history video I made up uh, for this game. I felt like it was important to really, um, really try to tell the history of this game because it certainly was the beginning of what turns out to be a great trilogy and it's still going strong even to this day. So the way how this LP is going to work, like I mentioned in the history video, there's essentially three different versions of this game that exist, uh, excluding the Virtual Console remakes. Um, I'm going to play through both, or uh, essentially all three games. Play through this one primarily, but I'll also be showing off some things from the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance versions too, since there are several different things to make a note of as well. And I wanted to just so you guys know. This game, of course, I'm sure as you all know, has been LP'd a lot. I figured, why not throw it, do something a little different? Uh, I don't think I've seen where anybody's played through all three games, kind of in one setting, in a sense where you just kind of combine all the three. I'm gonna try to do the best I can, but I think at least it would be something to do that would uh, be different and maybe stand out from the others, and I think it would also give me a chance to also kind of share my experience with this game and, and the other games just because one experience I have may be different from yours or anybody else's so anyways you guys have seen the screen enough times let's go ahead and get started so with this game there's three different modes of course to choose from there's one player mode where you play by yourself two player contest where you play against a uh, second player to see if you can beat the game first and then two player team where you play alongside the second player and you all work together to beat the game of course, I'll be playing by myself, so we'll choose one player in a moment, um, and then we'll get started. But before we do, I'm sure you all know there is a story manual that is associated, or excuse me, a story that's associated with this game that's in the SNES manual, and they remake it in the Game Boy Advance version of the game. So before we get started, we'll listen to this first, so check this out, guys. Here's the story. Okay, little buddy. As part of your hero training, you've got to stand guard tonight over my bananas. I'll relieve you at midnight, so try and stay awake until then. So much love for the little guy. So Diddy looks like he's paying attention. Oh, there's somebody. Who, who goes there? It's the small one. Steal him inside this barrel and toss it into the bitch bushes. I can't, I don't know what I was saying there. I can't speak snake. You guys gotta have to forgive me. Donkey Kong's bananas are ours. I guess that's how snakes would talk if they could talk in real life. Oh, what have we got here? It's kind of thing you would never see in this in this game. Oh, okay. Some enemies. Who knows where those ropes came from. And of course, Crusher takes them out. DK! DK! Wake up! That's a Terrible Cranky Kong impression. Hey, I think that's the sprite that they didn't use in the game. Not for SNES. What'd you do that for? I was having a nice nap. Take a look inside your banana cave. You're in for a big surprise. Yeah, I probably would not make a t good voice actor for multiple voices. <laughs> my bananas and my buddy, Diddy. They are gone. The Kremlings will pay. I'll hunt them down through every corner of my island until I have every last banana for my horde back. Alright guys, I hope you guys liked that. Um, you know, it's not the greatest way of uh, putting on a display of how the story went, but I think it was all in all pretty accurate nonetheless. So That said, we'll go ahead and get started here as we journey through Donkey Kong Island. We'll start off with our first world of the game, Congo Jungle. And enter Jungle Hijinks, which we just leave our treehouse and immediately start on an adventure. Which I would do right away, but there's some things that I want to do before we get started on this adventure. So let's go back inside Donkey Kong's treehouse here for a moment. We have a special surprise here. And we get treated to our first of several collectible items in this game. Extra Life Balloon. That one happens to be red and it'll gain you one extra life every time you collect them. Unfortunately, with Extra Lives, um, they reset once you uh, turn the game off, at least in the SNES version anyways. If you're playing Virtual Console, then you have nothing to worry about because you can just pause it and get off. Anyways, stop beating your chest, Donkey Kong. Let's go inside Donkey Kong's Banana Horde and see 
How empty it is. Oh, if only the Kremlings hadn't stolen our bananas, we wouldn't even be playing this adventure. But then where would the fun in that be? Alright, so we'll get started here right away. So, you have your bananas, which are your basic coins. You have your Goomba-like enemies and naughties. You have an annoying DK barrel, which has Diddy Kong in it. Um, barrels and are going to be part of the essential weapons for this game, other than Donkey Kong's massive jumping skills. If you see up top here, you can climb on these trees. If you jump down off the top of this arrow, and can unveil a steel keg, which is pretty cool. You don't find too many of these, but you can actually throw it off the wall, ride it if you want. I'm not going to do so right there. Another interesting thing we'll do that I want to show you all, so many things to see in this first game, it's amazing. But Diddy Kong, the most useful character in this game, will cartwheel off across these trees. I'll get that golden letter in a moment, but if you do so across these trees, you can get three balloons here, two red balloons, and then a gold balloon. So right there, right off the bat, right at three lives. How amazing is that? Alright, we'll get started here. So take out these critters who just want to walk forward. And then we'll get our first golden letter of the game. This is the K. This is one of four golden letters in the game. The others are O, N, and G, which spells Kong. If you collect all four letters in each level, you'll get an extra life. Fortunately, with these clumps, we can't jump on them with Diddy because he's weaker than Donkey Kong. As we collect this second note here. So, Diddy and Donkey, they have some different tendencies for how they, whether it's how they hold things or how they attack enemies or how fast they move. So, Keep that in mind as you go through these levels. And uh, that last in item we collected was a golden token, and it was of a particular animal buddy, which we'll come across each one as we play this game. We'll come across our first animal buddy here. It's Rambi the Rhinoceros, who I think is one of the more awesome enemies because he can ram through anything. Right there you just see we ram through our first wall, which unveils a bonus level, which is going to be the other big primary uh, collectible in this game, as there will be many others. But once you appear out of that side, you can collect a G right here, be done right here. Jump onto this cache, reveal a barrel, but although it's not necessary because we have Rambi, we can unveil the second bonus level of this game, which will allow you to play a game of, see if you can collect the gold token. Now I already collected an Espresso here, so I'm going to try to stop it on Espresso here if I can. And I'm usually nervous with these kinds of games, but... I'm going to show a few of these games here, and I'm going to basically try to collect as many gold tokens as I can through each playthrough and try to record as much as I can because I think those reset as well. But basically with the gold tokens, if you collect three of them in a row, you get to play a special bonus level with any of the animal buddies and um, collect as many tokens as you can, and at the end of the time you um, will uh, be tallied and grain lines based lives based on how many you collect as day turns to night here and I show off a couple of things which I think is really cool about this game is the really nice graphics but I mean there's so much to talk about in this game but I don't want to you know bore you eyes because we still have a huge adventure or a long adventure ahead of us so let's go ahead and exit complete our first level of the game pretty simple not a whole lot of worries aside from probably the worst one being that Neki that was just hovering over that uh, espresso gold token and just tossing nuts all over the place, but nothing to worry about. So before we start a second level ropey rampage, uh, we're gonna go back to Congo or Jungle Hijinks here real fast, and I'm gonna talk about one other item uh, that I'll be collecting here that's not mentioned in the um, other games here, just because this is the first of its kind, so it's not going to have any other special features, but in the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance version, one of the things that uh, you can collect uh, towards or work towards, in addition to collecting all the bonus levels, unlike this game, is you can collect um, pictures to fill up a scrapbook, which is exclusive to those two versions of the game. In the Game Boy Color version, you're collecting sticker pads, which are these collectible monochrome stickers. Um, which you have to collect in order to not only fill up the sticker book, but you also have to collect it to complete the game 101%, which is the percentage completion for this um, game as well. Uh, there are a total of 18 sticker pads. I plan on collecting all of them, and they're buried in each level of a certain a uh, certain level of each world, rather, and you primarily unearth them by the hand slap of Donkey Kong or if a Kong falls down high enough and onto a cache. And usually you can tell how they are appeared by um, 
uh, heads that I'll get into once I show you all. And then for the Game Boy Advance version, you're collecting photographs, and they're in the form of small blue cameras. And uh, once you collect each one of these, then you can fill up a scrapbook um, that way as well, too, for the Game Boy Advance version. And that one actually has 52 collectible photographs. So, like I said, I will be collecting through uh, collecting the sticker pads and photographs for both games. And we'll actually get started here with Jungle Hijinks because there are a couple of uh, photographs in this version as well as the sticker pads. But we're going to go in order. We'll start off with the Game Boy Color version first and we'll collect the one sticker pad that is found in this level. So I'll see you guys over in the Game Boy Color version in just a moment. Okay, so in the Game Boy Color version of Jungle Hijinks, what you'll want to do right near the exit is walk down the slow pathway that's only found in this version of the game until you get to this green banana bunch. Once you get there, position yourself so that you're near its hovering, use DK's Conclat move, and you'll reveal a sticker pad. The first of 18. Alright, now let's go to the Game Boy Advance version and we'll get the photographs. I'll see you guys there in just a moment. Okay, so in the GBA version of Jungle Hijinx, there are at least four different places where you can get a photograph, and there's not one of the places. I don't know why I went there to begin with. Actually, I know why, to be honest. I'm playing this on a special, um, I wouldn't call it adapter, but a special device that allows you to play Game Boy Advance games on the SNES, and the controls are a little bit different, so I'm still trying to get used to them. But anyways, you want to go to D DK's Treehouse, jump in, go to the back end of this area where there are bananas, and you'll find behind there a photograph, um, which is the first of 52 of them. So that was pretty easy. And then for the next couple, it's actually going to take us a while to, to get those, so I'll uh, meet you all in the place where we need to go once we get there. Okay, so for the next part here, what you want to do is try to, with um, Diddy, cartwheel into these three naughties that are right there. If you do that, you'll get your second uh, photograph pretty easily. And that's an instance where you don't necessarily have to get collected in this level, but you just have to make sure you take out three naughties in a row in any of the levels in Congo Jungle that has three naughties. So just keep that in mind. But if, it's pretty easy to just do that here in Jungle Jungle Hijinx. And for the third one, of course, you go through this first bonus level, run through with Rambi and collect the third photograph pretty easily. So that is not a problem. And then for the final photograph, what you want to do is also another tough one. You want to actually see if you can cartwheel these three critters. A little bit tough unless you come from the backside like I did, but if you do, then um, you will get your fourth one pretty easily. So that takes care of that for um, all the photographs in the GBA version of Jungle Hijinks. Uh, so we'll go back to the SNES version here in just a moment, but... And if Bramby won't stop panning, I'm going to get away from him. But I'll leave you guys with this tidbit. Did you guys know that this level, Jungle Hijinks, was initially going to be called Jungle Japes? I'm sure it's pretty decently known, but I figured maybe some of you didn't, so I thought I'd throw that out of there. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to the um, SNES version. Okay, guys, we're back. So now that we've found everything that there is to find in Jungle Hygiene, let's go ahead and proceed with our second level of this world, Ropey Rampage. Now, the cool thing about this level is that it takes off from where the first level ended and that it's nighttime, but then... Um, you add in the rain texture to it and it really and the thunderstorm in it as well and it makes for a really cool scene. So we'll encounter two new enemies here, one we just killed, which is an army, these though these uh, armadillos that will try to roll and attack you. If you're a Diddy, you can only really take them out when they are not rolling, otherwise if you try to jump on them they'll you'll, or cartwheel into them, you'll stop their roll. Donkey Kong is just awesome like that, and then he can essentially take out the majority of these enemies here in one hit. But that's one can be a little bit problematic if you're not careful, um, but shouldn't be much to worry about. Get a first Rambi token in here. You also saw our first TNT barrel, and those will also come in pretty good handy too as we go along the road. But um, we'll come up here in our first bonus level in a moment as we collect the so. So what you want to do now is ignore this Kremlin, uh, this critter which is a crimly type. Just jump down in between these trees, you'll get launched into an auto fire barrel which will fire you into a wall and unveil uh, the first of two bonus levels. And how did I not grab the rope? That was terrible. Basically what there is to see is that um, 
Uh, I mean, you're basically climbing to get letters here. I'm going to show that again here. Give me one moment. I didn't... You guys don't deserve that. Give me just one moment. I'll show you guys that bonus level in sight entirety. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know. I still don't know how I missed the rope the first time around. Okay. And it's actually crucial that you go through this bonus level if you're interested in collecting all the golden letters, even though you don't really get anything outside of an extra life in this game. Um, but yeah, basically all you're doing here is just climbing up and down ropes, just trying to collect uh, trying to collect uh, ropes or collect the bananas on the end. And it's crucial that if you go through this bonus level that you go through it and not fall, because that's the only one of two ways you can collect the end. The other way is... Um, if you go through the level without ignoring that bonus or with the, or out getting that bonus level, if you ignore it and just bypass it, then uh, you can get the end that way. So essentially, you have two ends here, and um, and so you can collect it either, either one of those ways here. I'm gonna try to get this tire after words and roll here, so we can clear this cache and get our wiki token. So. That takes care of that, but now you get to see the Zingers, which are these wasp-like enemies that can be annoying if you don't time your jumps right. They can't be defeated by any of the Kongs, so you have to rely on an animal buddy or barrels to beat them. But um, right here, right before this um, uh, arrow sign that lets you know you're almost to the exit, jump down here. If you can see, there's a barrel down here, and that'll lead you to the second bonus level of this game, which is essentially see if you can uh, dot blink and point out where the balloon is. I'm usually terrible with these. I think it's in this one. All right, good. Two for two-ish. I guess if you decide not to count the first failed attempt, but like I said, you don't have to succeed in these bonus levels, thankfully, in this game, in order to get credit for seeing them or get credit for having been through them. So as long as you at least go through them at once, then that's fine. And then finally, as we get near the end of this level, night turns to day and the rain and the thunder stops, so before we exit, we'll just collect our G here, get our extra lives, and be done. So yeah, pretty pretty simple here. Um, now, we'll, before we do proceed to Cranky's Cabin, which is not technically a level, but we'll get to counter Cranky along the way throughout these adventures, or through these worlds. But um, before we do proceed to the third level, or rather to Cranky, um, there is a photograph that you can get in Ropey Rampage in the Game Boy Advance version. So before we get um, proceed, let's go to the Game Boy Advance version first and collect that photograph. I'll see you guys there. Okay, Ropey Rampage. In the GBA version, there's only one photograph you want to get, and it involves using Donkey Kongs. What you want to do, go up to one of these armies, and just use the Kong Clap. You do that, get a photograph instantly. That's pretty much there, all there is to show, so let's go ahead and get back to the SNES version. Alright, so that takes care of everything in Ropey Rampage, so now let's go ahead and visit Cranky Kong's cabin for the first time. So in this game, Cranky Kong, uh, essentially he um, is just here to not only just harass the Kongs in terms of his sayings of back in my day, uh, I mean, games weren't always played this way. No, what he does is he gives you hints for how to collect some of the bonus levels in this game in particular. And um, he has some special features in the Game Boy Advance version, which I'll show off as many as I can. It'll be interesting to try to see how I can tie them in, but um, but just know primarily that he just gives you hints. So of course, if you played through this game um, and you know it in its entirety, then there's really no other point to coming to see Cranky unless you want to listen to uh, his stories, which he does have some cool stories. But I think we've seen everything we need to see, so go ahead and um, exit out of here. Yes, we know all about how you can jump further if you hold the run button, so thank you very much, Cranky. Anyways, we'll go ahead and start our third and final level of this video, which is Reptile Rumble, our first cave level. And I love this music. I think the music here is titled Cave Dweller Concert. It's really nice. So, get to encounter Slippers for the first time. Not to mention these critters, which will um, jump with an irre irregular pattern. Oh, jeez. I missed out. Okay, as you guys can tell, there is a bonus level that is to be found there. Let me see if I can... Okay, well, there's no bat... 
There's no barrel right there. Maybe I can find one. Yes, perfect. Let's get this barrel. Just uh, hold it up against this wall here, which is, I think, an advantage of being in Diddy Kong, because you can just put anything up in front of you, um, up against the wall. If there's a bonus level, you'll know, because then the barrel will also break in the process. So that's the first of what is actually three bonus levels in this game. And I don't know why I'm playing as Diddy, because he beat the last level, so I'm going to switch to Donkey. But here, take this auto-fire barrel to the top, it'll reveal the second bonus level, which is pretty simple. Have these um, nine auto-fire barrels, which will fire you into several different bananas. I really hate that I'm going to lose all these lives by the time I turn this um, video off, but that's how it goes. But yeah. Anyways, we have a couple of bouncing tires that we're encountering stationary ones anyways. We have, we've seen the rolling ones, but not stationary ones, which are pretty cool. But Those critters, um, they are, as you can tell, unlike the other ones we saw on the first couple of levels, uh, they are blue, and uh, they jump, if you couldn't tell. But you guys have pretty observant eyes, I'm sure. But um, but just that's, that just goes to show you, to get a continue barrel here, which I totally ignore it all, by the way. But uh, the enemies in this game, they have different color patterns, and depending on what the color patterns are, determines um, what their attack pattern is. All right, here's a tricky one. Here's a third bonus level on this far wall here. I'm going to see if I can get it. Perfect. Yeah, thankfully, with these um, those barrels that I unveiled, some of these barrels have characteristics where if they are... Um, tied together by vines, they'll break upon any kind of contact. Those uh, barrel, or that bar particular barrel that I threw, actually will not um, break uh, until it hits a wall. So that's pretty advantageous as well if you're trying to unveil bonus levels. But normally, in those instances, I like to use Diddy, uh, just because it's easier to just hold the barrel up against the wall and then break it. So, Anyways, there's our first... Um, token for one of our other animal buddies who we'll actually encounter in the next level. But um, I'm not sure why I'm staking around to take out the slippers, but that's really about it. We've unveiled all three bonus levels. We just need to collect this G, try to time my jump so I don't lose DK here to the jumping critter, and we'll just bounce our way to the exit out of the cave. la di da Alrighty. So, and I think the best part is there's nothing really to collect in Reptile Rumble, if I'm not mistaken, in the other versions of the game. Nope, no, there is not. I had to double check my notes. Yeah, even I forget stuff from time to time for this game, even though I played it a lot. But we will stop the video here, and then uh, we'll take up from where we left off in the next one. So. Just want to tell you guys, if you all like this video, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down below. You all know where it is. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you all think. And the next time I see you all, uh, we will continue the second half of Congo Jungle and we'll actually finish it off. And a matter of fact, we'll start off with Coral Capers. So that said, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, this is ShadowHB3 signing out and telling you all, stay perky.